Okay, this next video is pretty simple. We will probably do this as a class, but just in case we don't or you're absent, here we go. So we're gonna cut the back. I like to get the backs cut early. Don't like to wait until the end of the semester because then it's kind of chaotic. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take a ruler, and I want you to measure in a couple places. In this one here, I've got 13 and 15 sixteenths. I've got 14. So what I'm gonna do is take a sixteenth of an inch, I'm gonna take a sixteenth of an inch off my smallest dimension. So in this case here, I was at 13 and 15 sixteenths, I'm gonna take a sixteenth off, that makes it 13 and 7 eighths. So I'm gonna write that down, and so left to right, 13, 7 eighths. Okay, this is my back. Okay. Next, I'm gonna measure from the bottom to the top, and here I'm looking at about 18 and a half, and I'm looking at about, now that's different, sorry, about 18 and five eighths, 18, nine sixteenths. We're gonna go 18 and a half top to bottom. Okay, so top to bottom, I'm gonna go 18 and a half. Okay, it can have a little gap around it, what you want it to do is sit inside the rabbit. You can see I'm measuring all the way down in the rabbit. I'm measuring all the way tight to the rabbit, tight to the rabbit, okay? So I'm at 13 and 7 eighths, and I'm gonna go 18 and a half, and 18 and a half should fit me pretty good, okay? If you're building a gun cabinet, you're probably gonna use red oak plywood, okay? If you're using a smaller cabinet like this, you're probably gonna use masonite, okay? So here we go. So I've got my dimension. I'm gonna come back here. And it doesn't matter. Usually, like I say, we are cutting these as a class. And I'm usually the one helping you cut. So we're gonna cut this 18 and a half first. We're cutting another masonite. Cut my 13 and 7 eighths. Sometimes there are fuzzies, little pieces of splinters or something that are going to form on here when you're cutting the masonite to kind of get that stuff to come off. Okay. And then you're gonna try to put this in place, okay? And this one here fit on the first time, okay? So let's say that it didn't fit. Let's say that in the process of measuring all this stuff, you're off a little bit. What you wanna do is you're gonna put an X at the top. You're gonna to come and note wherever it's not fitting. Go back to the disc sander and do some light sanding, light sanding until it fits. When the day we cut backs, I want everybody to make sure all their backs fit because you don't want to be at the last day of the semester, you're assembling your cabinet and all of a sudden your back doesn't fit, okay? Now, there's gonna be a whole lot of cabinet backs around. So here's what you're gonna do. Take a piece of tape. If you're doing red oak, put it on the back because you can write on the back of the red oak plywood. But this one right here, put your name. And in this case, this is my example cabinet. Okay, I'm gonna put that there and I'm gonna put it in my respective room. Okay, so if you're in fourth hour, fifth hour, whatever, put it in the respective room that you're in. Okay, and once again, this here is gonna fit without any problem. Get that in. Now, there'll be a later video we do this. This will be one of the last ones of the semester. What I'll do is I'll run a little bit of glue around there and then I'm gonna use some half inch staples to hold it in place. So cutting the backs, we kind of do as a class, but if you missed out on that, this is what you do. But you gotta make sure they fit. Don't just take it for granted. Even if you have to come back to me at the saw and we have to take off an eighth or so because you might have mismeasured, maybe we gotta go to the disc sander and take some off, that's okay. But make sure that it fits way prior to the end of school. This concludes the back video.